Hi guys, it's Heather at Divine Guidance Tarot. Okay, so I'm doing a special solar eclipse video for today. Um, it's solar eclipse, tarot spread, the divine feminine, and your heart light. So, uh, you know, this is going to be, I've got nine questions here that I'm going to ask um, about your, I'm going to ask your higher self. Okay, I'm going to do two. Okay, and I'm going to pull the cards um, on camera while I say the questions so that you can get the advice you need um, for the solar eclipse and what your higher self wants you to know, your divine feminine. Okay, so I have two crystals, amethyst or rose quartz. Amethyst is for grounding and protection. You know, pretty stone. And then rose quartz is for family and love. Balance. Okay. So. Which one? Rose quartz, amethyst. Rose quartz, amethyst, amethyst, rose quartz. Alright. And then I have my fairy cards. And they're all upright. Okay. Because I'm not going to do any reversals. I don't do reversals with the fairy cards. Um, just because I like to use the advice. So, turn it this way. Okay. What is that weird ass light right there? What is that? Is it coming from. I don't know. So, I chose the rose quartz, and this pretty rose quartz, we're going to get started. Okay, so for this solar eclipse tonight, um, what does your divine feminine, your higher self, want you to know? Okay, so there's a message from your divine feminine from this card, okay? I'm going to shuffle 12 times and then pull the card, unless it flies out, you know, in which case, hang on, I'm blind. Okay, in which case it flies out, you know, and then I'll take it. So, this is the message from your um, Divine Feminine, from your Higher Self, for the Solar Eclipse. Okay. Ace of Winter. Don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented. So if y'all have some new ideas that need to be implemented, get going on that shit. It's a message from your higher self. Okay, how can your divine feminine help manifest your dreams? Three of Summer. News worth celebrating. Announcements such as weddings, graduation, or births. Friends you can cherish. Okay? So, they can help you. Your higher self can help manifest the relationships that you want in your life. Okay? Getting in touch with your divine feminine, with your higher self, can help you manifest the relationships that you actually want into your life. Okay? How do you currently express your Divine Feminine into your personality? Two of Summer. Falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. So you currently express your Divine Feminine through love and forgiveness in your relationships. <coughs> How do you identify with your Divine Feminine? That one flipped, so I'm taking it. Four of Spring. Four of Wands. 
twin flame. Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A contented personal life. So you identify your divine feminine with your divine masculine. Balance, right? That's how you identify as a divine feminine. <coughs> how do others see or react to your divine feminine? Queen of Autumn. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful, meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. Okay? Others see you as someone who can help them manifest their dreams. They see you as someone practical and respectable and the ability to make anything in your life more beautiful. They feel like meeting you helps them manifest their dreams. That's so nice. Okay, so how can your Divine Feminine help <clears throat> you understand your self-worth and break through your doubts and fears? That one flipped. Two of Winter. Indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. Okay, so your doubts and fears... You know, you're the two of swords, okay? You don't know how to balance out your logic <clears throat> and and your emotions, right? So sh this is saying use your higher self to make your decisions, okay? Use your intuition to make your decisions, okay? What medicine does the Divine Feminine have for you? Prince of Winter, seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively, sudden or unexpected changes. Okay. The medicine they have for you is warning you to be prepared for unexpected and sudden changes and to be prepared. Okay. And seek out an intellectual solution, not an emotional one. Okay. How to best balance out your divine feminine and divine masculine um, <clears throat> energies, your light and dark energies. How to balance out your light and dark energies. Seven of Autumn. Have patience and don't worry. Time to take a rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. Okay. The way to balance yourself out is to be patient with yourself. Okay? Take time to rest and plan. Right? Like it said back here, seek out an intellectual you know, an intellectual solution to your problem. Don't be indecisive. Be practical. Be grateful. You're going to fall in love and have news worth celebrating. Don't be deterred by challenges, okay? Let's get one more to see how you can nurture your Divine Feminine. Ego. Check your ego. The illusion of being trapped. Placing too much importance on material items. Getting caught up in fear and worry. Okay? Stop letting fear control you. Have no fear. Trust that the universe has your back. Trust that your higher self knows what's best for you. And follow your intuition. Okay? So that was for the rose quartz.
We're going to move on to the amethyst. Ooh, exactly 10. Exactly 10 minutes for deck two. Okay, so uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me at divine G U U D A N C E T G divine G U U D A N C E tarot by Heather at gmail.com. Yeah, Mercury's in retrograde, so I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Um, as always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, please don't listen. Take what I say with a grain of salt. And let's see. Okay, so for Amethyst Group, deck two. Message from your Divine Feminine. From your higher self. <laughs> Are you effing kidding me? Ace of Winter. First card, group one pulled. First card, group one pulled. Same exact card. Message. Same exact message from your Divine Feminine. Don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It is important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented. Okay? That's a message from your Divine Feminine. Deck one got that too. All right. So how can the divine feminine help manifest your dreams? Six of winter. Positive changes are on their way. A welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. Okay. So you can manifest your dreams by tra by going on a, a vacation or changing um, where you live, okay? Change where you live. If you're in a bad home situation, leave, get out, because you're not manifesting your dreams where you're at currently, okay? Your higher self wants you to get out of where you are, okay? How do you currently express your divine feminine in your personality? Eight of Autumn. Do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanships, and long-term projects. Okay, so you express yourself through your job, through your learning. Okay, so teaching, learning. Um, you express your divine feminine. I'm getting through teaching. You have wisdom to share with others. Okay? And and that's how you express your divine feminine into your personality is by teaching others. Okay? How do you identify with your divine feminine? King of Summer. A romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. Okay, so you identify your <clears throat> dark, your divine feminine. You, div you you identify with your divine feminine as someone. Wow. With your king. Okay. You identify your divine feminine 
with your Divine Masculine. Balance, right? You see yourself as waiting for your perfect partner to come. That's how you identify with your Divine Feminine. That's what you're working towards, right? That's what you and your higher self are working towards is coming into union with your partner. Oh, and I know you asked. This is just a jewel. It's not a it's not a weed pen. I've been sober for 20 days now. So uh how do others see or react to your divine feminine? Prince of Summer, falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. Okay, so others react to you by falling in love with you. I get a feeling that you're very sweet and like to help people and be kind. People love your kindness and they react to your kindness. How can your Divine Feminine help understand your self-worth and break through the doubts and the fears? Strength. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. Okay? You are worthy. You are strong. Okay? Have no doubt. Have no fear. The universe is on your side. This is a major arcana. The universe has your back. Okay? No doubt. No fears. Follow your intuition. Follow your inner guidance and keep being strong. Okay? What medicine does the Divine Feminine have for you? Five of Summer. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others, focusing on what frightens you or worries you. Okay? The, the, your higher self is telling you to stop focusing on your fears. Right? That goes with the strength. Be brave and be strong and stop focusing on your fears. Okay? It's not helping the situation at all. Okay? Focus on the positive. Be grateful for everything you have. Focus on the positive things in your life and let go of things that no longer serve you. How to best balance out your divine feminine, feminine and dark ma and divine masculine, your light and your dark energies. How can you balance out your light and dark energies? Princess of Summer. A new relationship or emotional experience. Invitation to social events. A compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. Okay? Go out with your friends. Balance out your divine masculine and divine feminine, your light and your dark, by going out with your friends and having a good time and not getting trashed. Maybe have just one drink or two and go out and dance and have fun, okay? And let go of the fear. Uh, and how can you best nurture your divine feminine? Get advice from someone professional and objective, public speaking, unemotional relationships. Okay? This is telling you, you know, don't, don't give out your heart right now. Okay? You need to nurture your own heart. Be around spiritual people. Be around your friends. Be around your loved ones. Nurture yourself right now. Okay? Don't get into an unemotional relationship. Don't get into a friends with benefits relationship because that's not going to nurture your divine feminine. Okay? Don't do it. Be by yourself. Be single. Okay? Be strong. Be unemotional. Okay? All right. So that was deck two. I hope you liked this reading and I hope you guys are going to charge your crystals tonight because it is the solar eclipse and I'm going to be watching it because it's going to be fucking awesome. Um... And I'll do my daily how does he or she feel about you before I leave for the night because I'm going on another date with a different guy this time. 
It's taking me to Margarita something at High Street. I don't know. Whatever. I don't drink, but I'm not meeting a guy at, like, his house or whatever random place. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me at Divine G-U-U-D-A-N-C-E Tarot by Heather at gmail.com. Um, and love and light.